Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how you can easily load in all of your game assets in Phaser 3 by using an external JSON file. So typically in most examples, uh, what you'll see is inside your preload method, we use our native loader and we specify which type of file we want to load by using the appropriate method. Uh, so as an example, this sprite sheet here, uh, for me to go ahead and create this sprite sheet game object, I need to go ahead and specify like the key of where this asset will be stored in our cache, the path to where the file can be loaded from, and then any type of configuration that's tied to that file. Uh, so for like our sprite sheets, we have frame width and frame height, so we can slice that sprite sheet how we need it to be. And then we kind of repeat this pattern. So like as an example, if I want to load in images, I provide a key, a URL. If I want to use a JSON file, I do the same thing, and so on and so forth uh, for each of our various uh, file types that we can load inside Phaser. So as we can see in this example here, as our game gets larger, and we need to load in more assets, or if we're building a type of game where there's just a large number of assets we need to use, this can easily make your code grow very large very fast. And an alternative to this is we can easily separate our game logic from our configuration, and our configuration in this case will be the loading of our assets and providing the unique keys and the configs for those objects. And we can do this very easily with Phaser by using the built-in uh, Phaser Loader plugin. One of the built-in methods that is available is the pack method. And what this method allows you to do is you can specify a JSON file pack or an array of them and add those to your queue for your loader. And what this looks like is we can provide this JSON object that has all of the configuration for our files we want to load and the relevant uh, details we need. Uh, so as an example here, if I want to go ahead and load in this image here, I provide our key and our URL which is basically the equivalent of what we're doing here, where we provide, hey, we want an image type, this is my key, this is my URL. And what's really powerful about this method is you can provide the configuration for any type of file that you can load natively in Phaser. So your JSON, your sprite sheets, your audio, all of this is available. And all we have to do is provide a JSON file that has the relevant data that we want to go ahead and load. And then we can go ahead and have Phaser load that for us automatically. And so by using this built-in method, we can easily take our code and our preload method from this all the way down to one line of code where we use our pack method, we provide our key for where it'll be stored in our cache, and then we provide our asset path to where that JSON file is located. So to see an example of how to do this, I'm going to go ahead and open up the code example uh, that we saw in the image there where we have all of these assets here inside our preload method uh, that we're using inside our current phaser scene. And so to go ahead and use our pack method, we need to move our configuration from here to a JSON file. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna make a new file. I'm gonna call it assets.json, and then we're gonna go ahead and create our uh, JSON object. And so for our pack method, we have a few different ways we can provide our files. And basically what it expects is it can either be a single configuration, it can be an array of configuration objects, or we can even have an object that has keys, and then we can go ahead and group our assets by this key, and then only load in the ones that we need. And so this is really cool if you only need certain assets for certain levels of your game, because then what you could do is have your level name be your key, and then you only tie the assets that are tied to that level with this key. Then that way you only load the relevant files for the level when you actually need them. You could also do something similar where if you have like a boot and a preload scene and you want to show a preloader, you'd have your boot scene load in your preloader assets, your preload scene would then load in the rest of your assets. And so there's numerous ways you can do this. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to do all of my files as an object and that way we can go ahead and just load them all in. And so in order to go ahead and do this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to copy uh, this code here. And so for our object, what we can do is we just need to go ahead and provide our files key. And then for our files, this is going to be an array of objects. And then these are going to be our file objects that we want to go ahead and load. So now what we'll need to do is we'll need to move our code uh, from our main.ts over to our assets.json file. That's just going to open up another window. All right, so what we need to do for each of our objects, we'll start with our images. So for our image, we have our type here of what type of file we want to load. Now we need our key. And so basically for our keys, we're just going to copy this and paste it over here. And now we need our path. And so then we have this kernel dusk uh, PNG. And so for our path, currently we're using our set path method to go ahead and load in our assets. We can also do that here as well. And to do that, we just need to go ahead and provide our path key. And then we can go ahead and just copy this and we'll go ahead and paste it on over. And then what that's going to do is when phaser encounters this object, it's going to use this path to go ahead and load in these files. And so basically any type of configuration we can provide to our loader, we can also do that through our JSON pack file here. That's what we're going to do is we're going to copy over our assets real quick. All right, so then what we just need to do is we just need to copy the rest of our uh, image assets here and then uh, create our configuration here. 
All right, so then once we have our images, then what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and tell Phaser to load in the rest of our assets. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna copy this object here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. And basically I'm just gonna go ahead and mirror what we have over here inside our preload method. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these objects. And so now we're gonna have this asset path. So let's go ahead and copy that for our sprite sheet for our character. And now we'll have our type. This will be a sprite sheet. We have our key will be a player. And now we have our image will be custom PNG. So then what we can do is we can provide our frame config. And so that's what we're providing here. So we have our frame config. And now this is just going to be this object here. So we're just gonna copy that, go ahead and paste it. And we'll add our quotes to our keys. We'll go ahead and copy this again, go ahead and paste it. Now we're gonna go ahead and load in our background. So this is another image. And so we're just gonna go ahead and copy our path. Get rid of that image. So our next file type is going to be a JSON file. So let's go ahead and copy this here. We'll go ahead and paste it. So for our path, it's just going to be under assets data. And so for our file type, it'll be JSON. We have item data for our key. And now for our URL, this is going to be items.json. And then finally, for our last type of file, we have this audio file here. So we're just going to copy this, we'll go ahead and paste it, we'll go ahead and grab our path. So we'll have title theme for our key. Then we'll have title theme wav for our URL. And then this will be an audio file type game object. All right, so for the rest of our code, this is basically just duplicated to show an example of where we're loading in a bunch of assets. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna comment all of this code out. And now what we need to do is we need to tell Phaser to go ahead and load in our new assets by using our pack method. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna switch back over to our browser. What we're gonna see is now our example is no longer working uh, because we're not actually loading in our assets. And so to go ahead and load in our new asset pack, we're just going to do this. We'll do load and we're going to go ahead and do pack. And now we just go ahead and provide our key. So I'm just going to call this asset pack. And now for our URL, this is going to go ahead and be under our assets, our data, and it's going to be our assets.json. All right, so if we go ahead and save, if we come back to our browser, what we should see now is our scene should refresh and we should see the exact same example that was there before. Uh, so basically, internally, what Phaser is doing is it's using this JSON file to now go ahead and add all of these files to our loader. And then Phaser is now loading those assets so we can use them later on in our game, just like we were before. So as we saw, by using the pack method on our Phaser loader plugin, we can easily move all of our asset loading that we're doing in our preload method over to a JSON file. And then we can have Phaser go ahead and dynamically load those files for us. And so it allows us to easily separate our configuration for loading files from our actual code that we need to write in our game. And just as a reminder, uh, when we provide our configuration, there are a few different ways we can do this. Uh, we can provide all of our files like we did as direct objects. We can group them by a single key. And then that way, when we do our pack load, we can provide that key. So then that way we can only load the files that are relevant to our level that we want to load assets for. Uh, so as I mentioned before, there are a few different ways we can do our configuration here uh, in our JSON. Uh, so we can do a direct array of objects like this, and Phaser will load all those in. We could group them all together by a key, like in the example here. And what that allow you to do is you can then control which files you want to go ahead and load by providing that key to our method here uh, when we provide it. So that would be our data key here. All right, with that, that brings this video to an end. Uh, so as a reminder, there is a link in the description of the video to the source code for this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did enjoy the video, please consider liking the video and hitting the bell icon to be notified when the next video is released. For more great Phaser 3 content, please send the links on your screen now.